Hello, I'm here with uh, Bob Ward. Bob Ward from Microsoft. It's fantastic to see you. Thanks so much for joining. Um, how are you doing today? Annabelle, doing great. Thank you so much for having me. A uh, lot of excitement building up, Annabelle. I think there's something called the Pass Summit again. Yeah. I think it's in person even, hybrid. I'm pretty excited to see it happen again. And we can't wait and we can't wait for you to be there with us as well. But um, yeah, let, let's get started. We've got we've got 10 minutes together today. And okay. Let's talk about what Microsoft is doing and what, what's new. You know, Annabelle, I just got back from the Microsoft Ignite conference. Uh, in fact, I, you know, based on talking to you and your team, I tried to do a little filming there of talking about Ignite and how we're transitioning into the past community summit. And we did announce some interesting things at Ignite for data professionals that are pretty interesting. For example, you know, we're continuing on this path for SQL Server 2022 uh, as we get and march towards general availability, all the excitement building up for that. I'm so excited to see that. I got a lot of great feedback from Ignite, from customers wanting to, to get ready for it to be generally available. So look forward to that happening. Uh, you know, I always say tongue in cheek, uh, people still ask me like, when is that gonna release? And I'm like, well, we won't miss the name. Uh, I will get fired if we don't miss the you know miss the name. So 2022, it, and of course, Annabelle, it's like October, right? So uh, we are very close to releasing that. And there's so much rich functionality in this release coming up. I don't think people realize how power packed of set of features are in 2022. And look forward to at the summit have all sorts of sessions talking about that. <clears throat> but we also announced several interesting things about, for example, and this one just kind of got lost on the uh, in, in all the different types of things coming out at Ignite is that uh, coming soon is a new way of paying for SQL Server called pay-as-you-go licensing. So all of a sudden now, uh, if you take your SQL Server and you connect it to Azure with Arc, your existing SQL Server, uh, you'll have this option now to do a pay-as-you-go license versus the standard licensing model that you use today. So that's coming soon. That's pretty exciting. Um, I think I got kind of lost in some of the announcements. And, and speaking of Azure Arc enabled SQL Server, a lot of folks don't know what that is, Annabelle. It's really a way to connect your existing SQL Server to Azure on your terms and then get all sorts of rich services. For example, in SQL 2022, you get Azure Active Directory authentication. Think about multi factor authentication. You can use Microsoft Purview now, a Defender, uh, viewing all your assets in the portal, best practices. So it's, it's a way to not necessarily run SQL Server in Azure, but connect it to Azure to get new rich deep capabilities. And then we talked about managed instance. You know, we continue to innovate on that Azure service. So you have Windows authentication, data virtualization, customizations for TempDB, just continuing to give you features in there to make sure that when you want to go migrate to the cloud, you know, it's not going to be as difficult for you to take a SQL server and do that migration. And then for developers, all sorts of stuff we talked about at Ignite. Uh, this is really crazy. So how about a local development experience using our new emulator where your organization you have devs using MacBooks, Linux laptops, uh, Windows laptops. All of you can you have a consistent development experience for free to build apps for Azure Database. And when you're ready, publish these through GitHub uh, to the cloud. That's actually pretty slick. Uh, some other stuff in the developer space, things like REST API integration, and even a new a first look at a new way of doing programming that's going to blow developers' minds. And that's being able to use like REST API or GraphQL. So for the development community, for Azure Database, all sorts of new stuff we showed off. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Sounds it. Sounds like there's so many feature-rich things coming out from Microsoft. Amazing. And really, really great for both developers, DBAs, and everybody working on the data platform who'll be here at Summit. Um, Absolutely. So what, what would you say is that one thing that people shouldn't miss and should really just check out first thing? Well, for us, you know, pa uh, past Summit is a homecoming. Uh, you know, I've been at this event now since 2003 or something like that speaking. So just getting an opportunity to come back to the summit, see everybody in person. Of course, we have this hybrid option, seeing folks online. But you can bet that SQL Server 2022 will be a cornerstone of Microsoft's presence at this event, Annabelle. There's a full day workshop I'm delivering. So imagine uh, whether this is a good or bad thing for you to imagine, spending the entire day with me. and I'm going to translate my entire brain from the last two years and pour into you everything about SQL 2022 in a hands-on fashion where you get to try it yourself in a workshop. So that's that's how we're kicking the whole thing off. Then we got a great keynote with Rohan Kumar. I might be in that this year. I don't know. You never know who will show up in Rohan's keynote in a very interesting way. 
Uh, and then we, uh, our engineering team has so many rich sessions to dive deeper into SQL Server 2022 in all its aspects. And then Annabelle, I noticed yesterday looking at the site, our community as well has a lot of sessions as well on SQL Server 2022. So for me personally, even though there's a lot of great stuff we're showing from a whole Azure data perspective, SQL Server 2022 will be a big focus at this event for us. Oh, that's fantastic. And um, I did hear a rumor that there's, uh, there's a book coming out and it might be written by you. Is that right? Yeah, Annabelle, you know, right behind me here is a, is a little picture of my book, last book I wrote, Azure SQL Revealed, uh, which we launched uh, back in 20 during the pandemic. And, you know, if you're going to write three, why not write a fourth, right? So, yes, um, yes, I, I have now finished and we'll be releasing a SQL Server 2022 Revealed book, releasing a SQL Server 2022 Revealed book uh, that will be coming out here shortly. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And it is an in-depth, uh, in fact, it's a very long set of pages, in-depth coverage of the entire release. And like any of the other books I write, Annabelle, the first chapter is the history of the project. So the first book is like, how did this whole thing evolve from the very beginning to our release now? And then all sorts of great examples for people to go through in the book, deep architecture diagrams, discussions of how things work, and a lot of great quotes. Annabelle, I interviewed the entire team wow. that built the product and include quotes from them throughout the book on their journey and why they built certain features. So yeah, I'm very excited to see this book come out at the release and, uh, and be available around the time here at the summit. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I think um, every, everybody who's um, signed up for the all-in-one bundle will be lucky to get their hands on Oh, that. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if you sign up for the all-in-one bundle, you get the book. Uh, and I think also maybe at the event, we'll be bringing some books. Um, and I was just talking to the, our team yesterday about being able to sign some. So I'm happy to be there in person. If you get a hold of one of these books, come just grab me and I'm, I'm happy to sign it. That's a very awkward thing for me uh, to sign a book, but I'm happy to do that for anyone. Oh, I'm sure people will love to love to get uh, the time with you. Fantastic. Um, so so Microsoft really does have a huge presence again at Summit this year. T tell me a bit more about your commitment to the community overall. Absolutely. I mean, for us, this is just a no-brainer event to be a part of. Our entire engineering staff to be there because it is a community event. Um, I even think about just the overall Azure data community. I don't know, some like 80,000 people across 40 countries. Um, you know, we have this rich tradition with the community. I call it the SQL family. And to me, I, I really, I say this often, and I've said it throughout the years, we don't have a product without the community. We just don't. And the community is so deeply engaged. In fact, Annabelle, just recently, I started hitting the road again and going to some of these Saturday events, right? Mm -hmm. I did one in Dallas and Atlanta. And just the enthusiasm that people have for what we do in our products and the fact that we're willing to share all this information you know, I'm an open source presenter, so everything I do, I just give it to the community, let them represent it. our workshop that we're doing. You're going to come to this workshop, and you're going to have all the resources you need to go out and just do whatever you need to do. Present to the community, present to your colleagues and team, and then look at our involvement, whether it's the keynote, our workshops, all of our sessions. We're going to have a massive booth presence there with the theater sessions. You're literally going to get to meet at this event as a community member, all, all members of our engineering team, because we actually really do love engaging with the community hearing what you think, good or bad about our products. But yeah, the community to me is is a very important part of my job at Microsoft. And without it, I don't even know if I have a job. So uh, we're deeply committed to doing the community events like at, uh, here at Past Summit. And yeah, I can't tell you how excited I am just to get back and just get the buzz. You know, Annabelle, I saw Rohan Kumar last, what, last week at Ignite and he pulled me aside and he says, I'm really excited to get back at the past summit and see people in person and be on stage for the keynote and share Microsoft strategy and all the technical demos. So yeah, there's a lot of excitement for us to be there and, and be engaged with the community. Yeah, bringing everybody together is what it's all about. And um, yeah, I think you've really, you've really summed up just how, how much, you know, we, we can all see you are very, very committed to the community and um, no doubt they, um, they thank you very much for it as well. So well, also just consider this, Annabelle, consider this, it's not just us. I mean, what I love about this event is all the community experts that come. Yes. You know, people, see, people sometimes ask me, hey, Bob, uh, you know, give me your best practices for how to be a DBA and run a SQL server in, in a production system for, for the last decade. I'm like, don't ask me. <laughs> Go ask the experts that we have in the community that do that for a living. And I love the fact that people can come to this event and get expertise from people that do this job with our products and see it in action. So, 
when you come to this event, just don't think about the Microsoft sessions. Look at all these incredible community sessions where people are going to give you that practical advice on how they use these products and services every day for their job. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's tons of uh, Microsoft uh, verified professionals speaking on the uh, on the list, and um, lots absolutely. of you know, fantastic community members. So yeah. So my last question for you, Bob, is um, if you were to give one piece of advice for for everybody watching, what should they focus on going into 2023? Yeah, you know, we don't stop and innovate, uh, for sure. SQL Server 2022 is coming out here in this calendar year, but we're just releasing it. So look for more from us about how to take that release and go big with it, right? Whether it's cloud connectivity options, all the deep things we're putting into the engine, blockchain with Ledger, data virtualization. So certainly for us, uh, taking SQL Server 2022 in the next calendar year is going to be a big thing, right? But I work on everything called SQL. So you're going to see some rich investments in the Azure SQL space for managed instance, for Azure database, for Azure virtual machine, something called Azure Arc. Those technologies, since they're cloud-based, are things that we can innovate all the time. And I think people should really take a look at Rohan's strategy for the intelligent data platform. Um, that is really not just a fluff. I mean, this is really us taking a series of products and services and try to integrate them in a rich way that actually help you. Instead of you having to go figure out how do I integrate these cloud services and SQL Server on-premises and SQL Server hybrid, like, can you really make and stitch these together so it looks like a unified experience? To pay attention to those, that technology, that term, Intelligent Data Platform, you will continue to see big investments, I think, from Microsoft in the next coming year. And it's, it's for everybody. It's connecting SQL Server to Azure in new interesting ways. Or maybe you're a Synapse or Power BI person, or you're looking at Purview as a technology. I was just with a customer recently and explaining them about this purview technology and like, oh my gosh, that could solve so many problems in our organization because we seem so disparate and this could bring us all together in a new and unified way. So SQL 2022, all the different Azure SQL investments we're making, including big on hybrid and intelligent data platform. I think those are the things as you see in calendar year 23 coming up that you should kind of take a look at. So many possibilities and um, opportunities for people to yeah, really take, take that next step. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Bob. And um, on behalf of all the community, Redgate and the Summit team, thank you so much for being part of it. Well, it's my honor and pleasure. And again, I'm so excited to see everybody there. I'm sorry I won't see you in person. You've got a few important things, I think, going on, maybe a little more important than the summit. So all of us wish the best for you, Annabelle, as you go through the period of, of having and having a baby. So we're all very excited for you. And sorry, we won't see you at the summit, but look forward to plugging in with all the other folks at Redgate that have been working so hard behind the scenes to the make the summit possible. So excited to be there and, and best best to you as well. Thank you so much. I'll be I'll be watching from afar. And um, <laughs> yeah, thank you. And um, enjoy. Hope it's fantastic as ever. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.